Hi, today I'm going to show you how to back up your Tandy 6000 HD to a, a Bernoulli disc cartridge. The Bernoulli disc cartridge system was developed by Omega back in uh, the 80s and it was the premier way of backing up your big Tandy system at that time. You could also back up your system to floppies but uh, with a built-in 15 megabyte internal hard drive you can imagine how many floppies that would take and the uh, room for uh, mistakes and errors was uh, pretty high using the floppy mechanism. So the uh, Tandy uh, integrated the uh, at first the uh, 10 megabyte Bernoulli box and then the 20 megabyte. And what we have here is a dual drive 20 megabyte uh, Bernoulli box, which means uh, both drives support 20 megabyte cartridges. Uh, having two drives allowed you to duplicate cartridges uh, very easily. The cartridges themselves are about the dimensions, uh, width and height of a piece of paper, standard piece of paper, and you know about three quarters of an inch thick. So let's go ahead and we'll turn on the system and um, we'll start by formatting the cartridge and then backing up the system to the cartridge. So first things first is turn on the Bernoulli box. And once that's up and running we can go ahead and start up our Tandy 6000. So this system has the uh, built-in 15 megabyte internal hard drive, which is the main drive. Uh, it also has a secondary 15 megabyte hard drive. Uh, you may know that the Tandy 6000 uh, with the standard built-in uh, Type 4 hard drive adapter slash controller supported maximum of two hard drives. The one internal and one external, so that's what we have here system warm up for a minute. Okay. Right, we're going to go ahead and insert the uh, cartridge now. Formatting. So we'll pull it out of the sleeve. There's the cartridge for you. Let's insert it into the drive. Nice mechanical noises there. Spin up to the uh, disc spins at about 1500 RPM, so it's uh, pretty high performance. Uh, and the principles behind the Bernoulli technology are very interesting. Uh, you can read about them uh, later on. Uh, okay, so the green activity light is now solid, so the drive recognizes the cartridge and everything is mounted properly internally. So let's go to our Xenix boot prompt. I'm just going to turn this around here. So from the Xenix boot prompt, we have the disk utility. The disk utility, which allows us to format floppies, hard disks, or Disc cartridges uh, for for Tandy Xenix. So I'm going to go ahead and select a uh, C cartridge and go into format. And the drive number zero one. That's the uh, drive zero one uh, drive within the Vanilla box itself. So we're going to specify drive zero because that's where we place the cartridge. Interleave factor. We're going to select the default. About to format a 20 megabyte cartridge in drive zero. Let's proceed. And the formatting begins. And the formatter has a nice visual indication on the screen of these uh, dots that appear to show you that something's happening. On the drive itself, you can see the red activity light is now on. That's the bright indicator that tells you that the system is waiting.
formatting will take about well, maybe five minutes. So you format a 20 megabyte cartridge. Uh, so we'll step away for a second and we'll come back when it's done. So while the formatting is uh, going on, I thought we'd talk a little bit about the unit itself. Um, as we mentioned, it's a dual disc unit. So it'll accept the same 20 megabyte uh, cartridge in the top slot and the bottom slot. Uh, again, my uh, slot number one is not functioning on this box, so I cannot show you the, uh, the seamless uh, disc cartridge copy uh, mechanism, but uh, I'm sure it works. One of these days I'll open up the box and get it working. The back of the box. Show you that. But there's a single power cable, and there is a multi-way ribbon cable that goes back into the back of the uh, Tandy 6000, and uh, that goes to a special card that was released for the, uh, the cartridge devices. Uh, it's a fairly simple card. I don't have it out right now to show you, but uh, uh, maybe I'll, I'll see that. Okay, well, format's done. Cartridge was successfully formatted. Format another new. And so what we're gonna do is uh, pull the cartridge out. Now we have a formatted 20 megabyte for newly disc cartridge. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and back up the system. Uh, so I'm going to reset the Tandy. And back to the Xenix boot prompt. This time we're just going to hit enter. Get into Xenix. So let's run the sysadmin utility. This is going to provide us the uh, facility for backing up the system. So the file system, file system maintenance menu allows us to do daily backups, or full backups, allows us to back up to uh, uh, floppies or cartridges. Uh, we can also restore backups from here. We can even check file systems from here. So what we're going to do is select two, backup all files. System dump. Uh, back up which hard drive? It's going to be hard drive zero. That's the internal hard drive. Back up to cartridge or floppy. See the cartridge. Back up to which cartridge drive? Zero. Insert the first volume in the cartridge drive zero. So we're going to go ahead and insert the disk back into the zero drive. Let it spin up. Set the speed, and we'll hit enter. And the backup begins. This internal drive has a few bad sectors, so you'll see if you're initially for that. And the backup is now on go. You can see we're backing up about 12 and a half megabytes of data. So my internal drive is fairly full. Red right activity light flashing continuously. Data is being 
Unfortunately, during the backup uh, procedure, uh, there's no visual indication on the screen as to what's occurring. So you just kind of sort of need to trust the system. You, of course, you can still hear the audible uh, tandy beeps in the background. So, and you do see the uh, right activity on the drug itself. So, I'm fairly confident that the system has it locked up. As you see the flashing red light and the beeps continue intermittently in the background. Uh, the full backup procedure will take uh, it's roughly one minute per megabyte. Uh, so we'll come back when it's done. Okay, the backup has completed. Um, so now we'll go back into our uh, sysadmin tools. Uh, press enter for the menu. And what we can do now is sort of verify the, uh, the backup. Uh, so we can select uh, option three to get a backup listing. And I'm going to read from the cartridge. And we're going to read from drive zero. Insert the cartridge, it's already in there. Spins up, starts reading the cartridge. It takes uh, about a minute to build the uh, backup listing. And I do apologize for all the noise, but if you've ever worked with a system like this, you'll understand how loud they are. So you're getting the uh, realistic uh, effect of uh, being here. <laughs> there are probably four fans running right now. One on the Bernoulli, one on the external hard drive, a couple in the 6000. Hard drive spinning, two of them. Uh, Bernoulli disc spinning up and spinning down. Okay. Uh, so it places the uh, backup listing in slash temp slash backup list but we're just going to go ahead and view that file and the file uh, essentially contains a listing of every file that was backed up onto the uh, cartridge so you'll see every file in the file system So we've backed up our uh, our Tandy 6000. So if our uh, ancient hard drive goes kaput tomorrow, we can always restore it. Of course, as long as the uh, Renewi drive keeps functioning. But that's part of the fun of working with these old systems is um, keeping them running and maintaining them. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.